Okay, uh, welcome to another fishing trip. I'm back down at my uh, local river today and instead of using the lures which I've been doing all summer <coughs> for the chub and perch, uh, I've just been and bought myself a new margin pole or whip, whatever you want to call them, uh, to take me with me when I go pike fishing so I can catch some live bait. So thought today I'll come down here there's one I know that always holds a few fish and hopefully we can get some out. So the poles are midi bagging machine. Uh, it's 5.5 meter pole. Um, I'll only be fishing it at five meter today, which is more than enough for this tiny little river. Uh, but hopefully as well as the uh, chub and perch that I've been getting on the lures. Uh, we stand a chance of getting some uh, dace, roach and uh, gudgeon and maybe a minnows. There's loads of them in here. Uh, so we'll get to the hole and uh, go and see what we can do. Well, I don't know if you can see that. I've just got down here and there's absolutely tons of fish topping in this uh, swim. So I'm going to creep down the bank side and uh, get set up. Okay, so I'm using uh, maggots. I'm going to get a few put in now, see if we can get some fish feeding. Okay, so uh, I'll just tell you a bit about the swim. Um, the flow comes down and around there, and it's all pretty shallow. But then on the corner there where there's the slack, it drops down to about five foot. And that's where I'm expecting to get most of the fish. When I turned up here, I've obviously disturbed them. There were absolutely loads of small fish uh, taking stuff off the top. Uh, I've put a few maggots in. Hopefully they've dropped down in the water and started feeding on them. Yep, got one straight away. There we go. That's a pretty nice perch as well for the first casting. Move them maggots. Yeah, there he is. It's like he's dropped the uh, the hook in the net. But yeah, really nice fish. Brilliant start. And another one. I'm not sure what this is. Look like a chub on first glance. Yeah, small chub. Yeah, no. I'm gonna have to shorten this pole. It looked like a chub. It's actually a really nice roach, which is awesome. Let's get that look out of him. There we go. Yeah, cracking roach. And there, what you miss out on when you're fishing the lures, you just get the the predators, the chub and the uh, perch. That's a cracking roach. So this is the third cast, I'll have to pull that out from there in a minute, it's uh, going to get really shallow so it'll be tripping the bottom, but straight into another fish, not sure what this one is, shut the pole down so I can net it, it's a good stamp of fish that we're getting, I've had nothing little yet, that's another perch. And it's another decent fish. Uh, right, that's it. Is off. 
Okay, so just get him on out. Stay still. There you are. Another lovely little fish. And again, another one. Oh, that one's come off. Put it out again, that looked like another roach. Which is what I'm wanting, really. So I've been here sort of like, I don't know, 10 minutes. And I've had four, uh, sorry, I had three and lost one. Put four bites all together. And same as I was saying, it's the roach. Roach dace, anything else I can get that I'm after today. It's running through there nicely. Oh, and another one, he's bloody hell, he's having a good air around, he's even pulling the elastic out, this one. So let's try and get him in. What is it? Let's have a look, this one's a chub. You can see he's got a big mouth coming towards the net. Only a small fish, and we're still off, still fighting. Get him on. So that's two perch, one roach, and that's the uh, first chub, old still boy. Yeah, the hook, that's it. Yeah, cracking little chub. Fin perfect and scale perfect, that one. Really, really nice. Well, let's get it back out, see if we can get any more. One thing with this swim is you will spook the fish, definitely so. The bites at some point will tail off and uh, you usually have to wait a while and then it'll pick up again. But these first, like, 15, 20 minutes are always the best. Yep, got another one. This feels a better fish. Or it did. Another perch, I think. I'll try and sw see if we can swing him in. Yep, here he comes. That's a cracking fish. Get him on out. There you go. Yeah, another lovely little fish. He's got a split dorsal. And I'm pretty certain I've had that one before on the lures. Well, they don't want him to put his dorsal fin up so you can have a look at him in all his glory. But yeah, really nice. Really nice fish. And another one. It's like there's a good shoal of fish down there. I think this one's another roach. Yes, it is. Another nice roach. I'll swing this one as well. It's a bit too big for swinging, really. That's a cracking roach, but look at him. Absolutely gorgeous. It's a brilliant roach for this little river.
so uh, that a cracking little session probably only been here I don't know hour and 15 hour and 20 minutes but um, plenty of fish you just have to keep because um, it's such a small river just have to keep uh, giving the swimmer rest keep feeding bait in and uh, when you go back to actually fishing again you're getting bites straight away so if you do uh, fish anywhere like this and you get in like the bites dry up just try that just stop fishing keep feeding keep nice and quiet give it 10-15 minutes and the bites will start again